Hello, everybody. Yay, I got my new ring. So happy. They're very nifty, ain't they? I actually didn't open it all the way. Uh, let's see. I'll show you guys real quick. I saw these and I was just like, ew. I could definitely use this since I don't have the other ones anymore. Long story, nah. Uh, teal deer, I was mad. I threw them directly in the trash. And plus they were useless at that point anyway, because, well, pretty much corrupted, I'll say. If I can get this thing open, hold on. It is kind of difficult. Ah, no, don't you close. I need you for perimeters. It's like, it's not difficult, but it's definitely like if, if you don't have nails. What? Crazy commutes. Where are you going, girl? Someone's going somewhere. Hmm. Oh my god, I keep closing it. It's like worse than a fucking finger trap. There we go. There it is. Little globe thing, right? Isn't it nifty? I love it. They're kind of heavy on my fingers, though. You know, pretty bulky. A little mix sound. This one, I'm pretty sure, is just gonna slip off if I fling my finger hard one day, but. Pretty cool. Plus, they're made of copper, which definitely needed that. Especially after I injured my fingers and shit. In case you didn't know. So, let's look at what's popping up. We'll do star dates. I wish this would just, like, stay level. Because I don't move, but it's just the weight of the camera. Let's see what's popping up for star dates, huh? Something to do with the fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Planetary nodes. Check those if those are your north nodes, south nodes. Possibly dealing with the asteroid Lilith. Ah. Virgo might be in waning gibbous at some point. Or, yeah. Or the moon is. One of the two. One of the two. The waxing crescent moon during that time might be dealing with Cirrus. Moving into Aquarius. Then Chirion. And Hygieia might be in Taurus. Alright. Because those all just fell and it's just like, that's way too many. Then going to the last quarter, we'll deal with retrograde phases. Fire signs and cancer. This might be a significant reading for you. Pay attention. Keep your arms and hands in the vehicle. Possibly also dealing with Jupiter. Isn't Jupiter in retrograde or something? Or I know Saturn is. But I think Jupiter's supposed to go in retrograde, too. So it might be affecting the retrograde of Jupiter during the last quarter of a moon, after it's been in the waning gibbous in Virgo. <coughs> this is an all signs read if this resonates. If not, you just boop your nose the way it goes. Don't come talk to me about it because I don't give a shit. Neither should you. It's probably bad for you anyway. You probably don't want to follow me you home. You know, might be bad. Just saying. Uh, I've been off for two days. Done absolutely nothing. Beautiful. Beautiful. The best times I ever have is when I don't have to do anything. I'm like, well, I had stuff to do. I always have stuff to do. I just didn't do it today, and I was absolutely happy. It's just like, I just need a day where I'm not forcing myself to do anything. 
just like, except I need to, because it's important, but at the same time, it's like, ah, fuck it. Someone's working, getting that money in. Good deal, good deal. There is also a breakup. Is someone like drowning themselves in work to avoid their feelings? Oh dear, hopefully not. The games they play. <clears throat> These are all male, could be a man. He might have a butt, he jiggles when he walks. Is someone watching a man walk away? Like, walk away? Like, yeah, okay, it sucks you're walking away, but god damn, I love looking at that. I, I feel like there's someone who's looking at someone's booty. Like, get a blow dryer, baby, because I want you to heat up my dinner. That kind of look. Men, that's the look. When you, when, you, when you know you're looking away from her, but she's giving you the please fuck me eyes. Her friends keep nudging her, and now you know, ah. Uh, she wants to be hunted. And then mounted. You know, that, that's... But I'm not sure. I mean, the, the woman is here. But it's a separation. And it's like, this dude's drowning himself in work. Can't deal with this bitch no more. But it's like, why are the games that they play the games they play? And it doesn't seem to be in someone's favor. Because it's having them walk somewhere. You know, this is future energy. Because this is more past. This is what someone knows... This is more of the foundation, right? Or at least that's how I'm going to focus it for right now. Because I actually don't remember how I created this layout at all. Like, I have no idea where my book is. Which kind of sucks. If I could find that motherfucker. Being the shape. But it has to do possibly with a man or a masculine energy. And now they're coming to deliver something. Like, going from the 8 to the 9. <clears throat> an identity? Possibly. Could be an earth sign... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We did have Virgo pop up, though. I also, Taurus is a, um... Shit, what the fuck are you... Fixed. You're fixed. Man struck in a box stabbed with lots of knives. Do you dare... Don't you come and heal me. Sir, isn't that your job? I'm just asking questions. <laughs> What's this? Why does this person feel like they're stuck in a box of emotion and they want to out? It feels like they're not comfortable at all. They want it to be over and done with. For me... <clears throat> Ten of Swords always means two interpretations. That's it. I've never been able to read it in a different way. Upright, someone's been betrayed. Reverse, they did it to themselves. They betrayed themselves. That's always how I've taken that card. I know that there are people who had to be outside this box in order to stab them. But they got in the box willingly. That's what I'm getting with this, right? So, keep that in mind. Oh, shit. Too many cooks, too many little customers. What, is someone making too much? Or is that, like, like, is no one coming over for dinner? Bugs on my nuts. Where's my money, Brian? So they got, like, people wanting their funds and it's annoying. They eat ass like a toaster strudel. That doesn't pay the money. That, that, that's not, not paying them the money, Brian. This reminds me of this scene I saw as a kid in some weird movie. I don't know. It was like late at night and my mom always kept the TV on and somehow I always woke up and always ended up seeing like sex scenes on TV. And it was this one where this dude was just banging his prostitute. He's just like, you know how much money you owe me? And it's just like... What is... Ha I don't get... What is happening... I'm so confused. Like, I don't know, but I kind of want it that... This is what it kind of reminds me of. Toss out... Yeah, okay. Maybe it is that kind of scenario. Is someone paying for... With sex? But it ain't enough at this point. Like, you know, someone can only, like, bang you so many times before it gets boring. Especially if you don't do anything new. Especially if you don't bring them the money and then want to get laid, too. Because then, like... Yeah. 
Someone's feeling their age or looking their age. A regenerative serum? Does someone think that if they fuck, they're staying young? What the fuck? How do my leftover stays? Who? 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 What? Saggy woman. The wo a saggy woman. <laughs> the woman with saggy tatas that hates Pete and Pete? Shots fired. Is this her saying this? What is this? Who's this bitch? I got a crush on you? What the? <laughs> shots fired. That didn't help either. Like, if the shots were fired, that didn't help because someone's doing it out of place of love? Is that what that is? Could also be someone banging somebody that somebody else liked. Just so they can't get together. You know, ladies, how that is. is like, you like this dude, and, like, someone you know knows that they that you like them, so they purposely go and fuck them. And, you, and they know for a fact you're not going to touch that person after they touched it. Just to ruin their chances, because you hate that bitch that much. It's going to take at least five years of getting over that. Little less knowing you're going to potentially still be sharing the saliva of that bitch in your mouth. You know, one of those things. Right? Whether you realize it or not, that's a thing with women. I don't want to. I, I don't. I don't want to know you. You were with that bitch. Why do I need to know that? Why couldn't you lie to my face? You lie about everything else. You know, like that's what I'm feeling, and it feels like th this is dealing with a man. So maybe that's why I'm sounding a little extra bitter. But it's like I'm talking to you like you're my man right now, and for the love of God. Don't bring, don't bring it in my house and don't let me find out you need to name something. Y'all ever notice that everyone takes a vow for better or worse when it comes to cheating? They think that that's the worst when, you know, there's death. There's rape. Molestation. Uh... Beatings, beatings, but mm, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased in that, but it's like uh, cheating falls under the worst category, not the worst, worse. But this is like ugh. someone is really fucking around. Like you know, it's like oh, someone's a whole shed full of garden tools and they come in different shapes and varieties you need a trowel i'll get you a trowel you need a garden hoe i'm that bitch i can get three rows of, you know this one's kind of vulgar <laughs> just this is kind of vulgar for me whatever we're all adults you better be an adult watching me that oh my god if you're not an adult go get your mother Please go get your mother and ask her after she watches five minutes of me if it's okay for you to watch me. Because I don't want your mom getting mad at me. If she's cute, though. I don't know. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, let's see how this goes. Oh. Well. My. Ah. What is this? Okay, so this is... What is this? What, was like someone taking too much advice from too many people? Or there some... Because too many cooks is like there's too many people in charge and there's not enough customers to take orders. Why do you need that many cooks? It's like someone's faulting themselves for having too many people involved or something, or too many people um, making decisions, making dishes, making choices, preparing things for no one to come get them. You know, like you have one customer a week, but you got eight cooks. Every day at the same time. It's like, do you really need that many? I don't think so. Whatever they're trying to work on and build, it's not growing. It's, the roots are fucked. 
It's ugly. Whatever happened with this breakup, it didn't bring any good fortune. If, But I don't know if that's a breakup. Because it seems like this person's got a lot of whores around them or something, right? Or at least a lot of people who do shit for them. Maybe they're a pimp. I don't know. But if here, but there's one significant energy here where with the separation, there is bad luck. Someone got the mafia fish, not the fish of joy and great fortune, right? Whatever these games were did not work in one's favor, and now it's getting buried? Or I don't know if they're trying to bury it, and it's not going to work. It could be either or. could be dead, though. Like, this shit didn't work out for you, and now, like, it's the end of the road for kind of feel. This Knight of Pentacles is coming this direction towards the Eight of Pentacles, which would make the Nine of Pentacles, right? Acting like they're wise with their delivery, but they're really slow with it, and it's just like, mmm... Questions. Questions, comments, and concerns. Sorry, I'm trying to stay away from the microphone a little bit because I, I, I think I do the <laughs> poppy thing too much in it, you know? Maybe I'm too close. Oh well. It'll be alright. <clears throat> So what's with this Eight of Pentacles with the tree reverse? Because this should be invested, which is weird, because that's almost like the same energy, but the card reversed itself on top of it. You know, because the Eight of Pentacles, it's like Virgo energy. It's a slow build. It's putting things into an investment. It's growing your garden. It's waiting patiently to see what can be harvested. Wait, or is that the Seven of Pentacles? totally lost what the eight of pentacles looks like no the yeah yeah this is the same thing because it's literally the same fucking image what's wrong with me he's building something he's growing something he's developing all these pentacles but it, it, it takes root it takes time it takes energy but for some reason this tree always gives me the same feel and it's like it's not growing anything it's just there it's a fucking stump with leaves <clears throat> This is a no way balanced Libra energy, possibly. Could also be with a Virgo. Mm, someone wants to let their guard down or they're paranoid. One of the two. Someone might break their heart or someone already broke their heart. They're too busy with the actual uh, assignment for the... No, someone's not trying to fall for someone's shit. Mm -hmm. This person's more worried about assignments than they are what they're being given by someone who wants to let their guard down, mainly because they're out of balance. This is an out of balance thing right here, so what the fuck is this about? Hmm. This uh, separation of energies, I'm not sure if it's a breakup, but it is a separation. It brought no good luck. Someone didn't have any love, despite having a bowl for two. Maybe they just wanted to keep it all to themselves, I'm not sure. But then what is this? I don't have any love in this situation, but I enjoy the fact that this person brought me treats despite they had nothing. This is the Five of Pentacles. These are homeless cats. I always just feel like one brings something to the other. One more of that. Mm. Someone fell into their emotions and they didn't like it, basically. Um... They decided not to wait, not to hesitate, and cause someone to be stagnant, to wait. What? Not gonna lie, this kind of sounds like a fuckboy. Like, this kind of sounds like a fuckboy. Like, how are you gonna, like, enjoy the benefit of someone bringing you something and then, but be scattered because of the emotions? Mainly because you didn't have any heart in it to begin with? 
But this whole theme right here is um, there's a separation of energies, and that's what brought someone bad luck. Strength. Gloating over something fake. A toy. Leo energy. Does someone not take someone serious or something? Cause this person, cause they're worried that the other person's gonna break their heart. Cause they ain't worried about what the what they're gonna bring them, whether they're wise or not. They're too busy with their own shit. Like, mm. what happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> Pentacles reverse, the world, the hanged man, Queen of Swords reverse, Knight of, ooh, 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 look at all of this, this person didn't fit the profile, so they, so their head turned away and they were able to settle their own world, right? And then they came to a crossroads after a point in time with the decision that the person on the other side is a bitch. Crazy bitch. Illogical. Too emotional, I feel, too, since the moon is, like, more on the ground than anything. Since it's upside down. She's got blood on her sword already and she's looking at this person's direction and it's like, what are you doing here? You invited me over for tea. I did not. I have the text. Hurry up. Like, you know, like, they, like it could be an Aquarius who just doesn't want to deal with someone because that person likes them too much or something like that. Which I get because I'm an Aquarius moon. I understand that completely, but at the same time, it's like... Why is this person happy about the real thing? I don't know. Probably because they're nuts and they don't know how to pay attention to shit. But then all of a sudden they have this impulsive desire to come back that way only for the other person to want to suck their blood out with their flea mount. Um, they're ready for war. They will take, like, oh, you want to come here? How about I come over there, you know? <clears throat> Whoever's trying to come towards someone, I think, especially with the strength card on top of a fake mouse, I think they chose something fake. Now they want the real thing. But the problem with the real thing is, you know, um, what is it? Uh, rejection is God's protection. You know, God even told Peter that he would deny Christ three times before the cock crows in the morning, and he did. And then he wept for it, over it. But it was also just like, well, he said you were going to do it anyway. He already knew what you were going to do. No, that was Jesus. Jesus. No. With that. Who saw the sign? I was not expecting aces and bases to come in with some messages. Possibly causing me <laughs> to get copyright again. Oh. Definitely off. Okay, so this is an important message. That's something I noticed. Like, if I know for a fact a song is copyright now, it pops up in here and it's important. But then it doesn't get shown to people because it's too important. Like, someone doesn't want information getting out. It's just like, who who doesn't want to be heard of? Who, do, who doesn't want to be noticed? Who doesn't want someone to know what I'm saying? Because I've been picking that up for months. That someone is listening to me very intently. Like, trying to twist my shit around. Say different things. Uh, rather annoying, really. Because, like... Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But, yeah, it's like... It's annoying. And that might be an issue here, too. But it's like... Someone either watches my stuff, or someone they know watches my stuff, or I don't even know what it is, but it's like, certain people know. They know I know. Maybe. I don't know if I know. I know something. 
but I'm, I'm not that smart. I'm, I just, I, just because you're tapped in doesn't mean you're fucking intelligent. Like, let's be clear. I'm not that, I, like, I'm smart about things I know, not what everybody else assumes. And usually that's what gets me in trouble. But. Someone just doesn't want someone to know something. <clears throat> Someone might be playing the energy of Peter in the Bible. Being like, I'm not going to do that. And all of a sudden, they did. Thank you. And maybe that's the issue. Maybe this person got prophesied to about what they were going to do. And they didn't believe it. And then they ended up doing it. And it's just like, oh... My fucking god. I don't even know if it was with the person that they're having an issue with. Because I'm not even sure if it's the issue with this person. They're more worried about how the person's going to react to them. Um, rather than uh, what actually is going to happen. You know, like one of those people who play things in their head. This is the wrong... Oh. Why are they expecting the message? They're waiting. They, they're keeping themselves occupied, but... They're waiting for a message or something to get delivered, something quick. But now I'm reading for this, and this is the game they play. Was someone trying to get someone to chase them? As a fuckboy? Thank you. I was saying thank you to the music when it claps because it makes you feel like they love me. Oh, here's the Queen of Swords. Hmm. What the fuck is this person's problem? Look, right? They they think it, they came up as the Queen of Swords reverse earlier, but so this is the same direction, same person. But they, they were completely logical when they decided. To make someone not give them something because they're sitting there waiting. But someone's not giving it to us. Like, oh, it's completely logical. But I feel like that's the games they played and that's what messed it up. Or do they want to bury that knowledge? Thank you. Whoever it was has Emperor Energy, too. Or their inner Emperor Energy taking action, being like, I'm gonna protect my own fucking head. Wrap my neck. <clears throat> There's sort of a door that opened, though. Or maybe they feel like they're free, and they can go do whatever, but I'm not sure about this cat back here. It's just like, ah. Ooh. This other person? They don't want whatever's being offered by whoever this fuckboy is. They decided, fuck it, I'm just gonna play by myself. Huh. Thank you. Oh, thank you too. So like you and improved seed of cleansers defend against five signs of skin sensitivity. What? Kids have got their clothes as fast as you buy. Oh, okay. Money shopping back to school on Amazon. What in the world? Okay. That was weird. I'm not even I don't know what those commercials were about. I really don't. But Let's be clear. <laughs> Y'all, I think a fuckboy fucked with the raw with a woman. I guess they thought they were being intelligent with their games by getting I think they got a person to stop dealing with them or offering them stuff cuz before they were giving them stuff. They didn't have any love for this person, but once they started developing feelings, I feel like... 
they felt victorious because they were faking it. I think this person was scared of falling in love or something. So as a result, they logically made a person like give up whatever. That person put a cone around their neck, taking action to protect themselves, even from themselves. And all of a sudden there's a door open and there's another cat in the background. What is it? What? What? What, what is this? Like a guy who? Sh what? Who's this? Who is this? Because this seems like a fucking idiot. How do you have so many cus so many customers, but at least twice as many, if not three times, the cooks? Um, like someone put themselves in deaf high debt, deaf in debt, hiring too many people when they couldn't even cover the expense of a ten dollar dish. Hmm. Too many cooks, too little customers. Maybe this is one of those dudes who thinks, you know, a woman needs to be submissive and shit. You know, what people say on the internet, like the division with both the, uh, the men and the women. Um, could be one of those dudes who's just like, yeah, women are supposed to thumb that and, and you do all of this shit for a man. And it's just like, sir, you're not even mar marriage material, a little less dating material. I mean, you gotta think you're expecting somebody to live with your obnoxious ass while you say what they should be. But Lord forbid we tell you to wipe the crack of your ass so you don't leave a stain on the bed. That's the kind of person's energy I'm picking up right here. That's who's here. definitely feels like a man could be a woman I would hope not because you know you need you need to clean your ass Ugh. like I can't get that out of my head now this is like the time when I accidentally read that someone had sweaty panties and it was really disturbing to me I don't remember all the details of that but I know it was I don't want to remember it but this is one of the things where I don't want to remember either like Ronald Dahl on an extreme. <clears throat> so now this person wants to come back around because they've wisened up, I think, or they're at least coming back in that direction. They got something to offer because they're wise now. Or they think they are. Why is this person showing off their butthole? Asking for attention instead of like working on themselves, but I, but I does but the earlier it was like upright, so it's like what happened? Or do they think that they're wise and know this person? The fuck? Rawr, don't pet my belly. Caused a person to lose patience. The other side, they're in a Sagittarian energy. Before it was the Wheel of Fortune reverse, now it's Temperance reverse. And now they're just uh, fuck drinking the water. I'm knocking over the whole bowl. Drowned from the air, <laughs> fish. Now they're in a panic attack? What? Anxiety? Botherment. This person's saying, don't rub my belly, I'll bite you. So this person's like, well, okay, I'll just knock you over and fuck your life up. And then they're in all sorts of thoughts that are bothering them, like... This person expects them to be thirsty, that's what it is. Maybe even get a reaction out of them because it's been bothering them so much. Like, they, like they're terrorized by toilet paper and it's just like, what? No, this person will knock you off the table and watch you die on the floor. But I don't even feel like... Mm. But this person isn't going to fall for it. 
I mean, this person might say some... I, I mean, this fuck boy might say some things. Sure. But that's only because they've been starved since May. Or something happened in May. And yet, they're, they might... Someone's missing from this watering bowl. The Wheel of Fortune is turning on a motherfucker. They don't want to feel like a fool in the sun with a hat. But the other person's completely and utterly confused by what's being presented. Nobody cares about that. I don't even use hair straighteners. My God. This, whoever it is they want to approach... They're kind of got an open door already now because of the situation. You know, like this, I, I feel like someone got pushed away by this fuckboy energy. But they developed into emperor energy and now they have a whole door opening to them. You know, Four of Wands deals with marriage, celebrations, all that. Maybe they were celebrating that, you know, this person is no longer involved or they feel as though they're no longer involved. But if that's the case, why are they coming back? Ha, huh, ha, huh. like, you know, that's my question. Why are they coming back? If they successfully got someone to leave them alone, they said, oh, I was faking it the entire time. I really never had these feelings, even though they, I think they did. Once they got feelings, then they started doing the whole faking it shit. Displaying their power and strength. But as a result of that, it caused a lack of balance, and now they're scared to open up because they know this person might might just break their heart because they're too worried about the assignment instead of the breadcrumbs they gave them. I don't even know what, what this person's working towards. So much effort. So much energy. So much power and position put in what they can do with their hands and yet someone isn't even going to accept two pentacles. Or even two treats. They have their... Like, you know, this person has the eight of pentacles. This person has the two of pentacles. This is reverse. They don't have time to get the treats. They gotta catch this thing. They need to waste that energy. They need to do something with themselves. They have no idea what the fuck they're doing. They don't feel like there are any options in this, really. Or the options just aren't worth it. You know, that's what they're more focused on. Because the only other option would be to eat the treats. Which is like... Do I really want these treats when I don't even feel like comfortable with these options? It feels like trust is gone. This is his thoughts. Well, no shit. This is what he's been thinking. Like, like, was this a plot for somebody? That's the real question I have. Like, was someone planning all of this out? Because this seems a little abusive. You know? This honesty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Change. Hope. Great water. Then a gift. Oh, hell no. Get on your knees and take this present. Didn't I just say that someone was blow drying their dick because they wanted them to warm up their person's dinner? Wind slot. Oh, this person. All stuck in their own box they created. Hmm. I feel as though... Somebody feels absolutely horrid about what they possibly did to somebody. Maybe it was you. I don't know. It doesn't really feel like that familiar to me. It's just random energy that's being picked up. But it's like, now all of a sudden they want to come back. But I don't think it's for the right. I don't. I don't think they mean it. You know. Yeah, I want to come back and like be with you. No, they don't. They just want to make sure that you're not mad at them so that way they can feel a little less guilty. You know? 
Like, I had a weird conversation with somebody earlier. Um, <clears throat> well, it wasn't a conversation. It was just through comments and shit on a news site where they were talking about the woman who uh, accused Elliot Teal of whistling at Emmett Teal of whistling at her and got him uh, basically murdered by the state. Uh, they weren't looking to indict her or prosecute her. And someone was like, I don't understand why all you blacks um, invoke God and shit. Because God forgives. All she has to do is ask for forgiveness. And I just have the comment, you know, like, you really think God forgives everybody who asks for it? And then this person was like, you have wickedness in your heart if you think that. And I'm just like, no, I don't. God has many a time had his people attack cities. Do you remember the walls of Jericho? You remember, do you remember what happened to the Egyptians? Number one, the problem is a lot of people think you get to ask God for forgiveness, forgetting that like people forgive people all the time without being asked. You know, like, like that's, that's the thing that I always thought was weird. It's just like, you know, like, just because God doesn't give you an answer doesn't mean that it's a yes. Just because you ask doesn't mean that you're going to get the yes. People are very strange. <laughs> or at least to me, anyway. Because it's just like, how do you know if God forgives everybody just because they ask? Do you forgive everybody who's done anything to you just because they ask for forgiveness? Have you noticed that a lot of people in your life don't actually ask for forgiveness for the stuff they've done, little less apologize? Because, you know, that's a point of forgiveness, too. You have to be apologetic. You have to be sorry. But the guitar headphone app that delivers truly legendary tones. Introducing the new X. I can just get a tuner. But whatever. But yeah, I don't know. But that's kinda how this feels. It's like, could someone be forgiven for their betrayal? Also, do they think that they're God? I get this feeling like, oh, I'd forgive me, but I'd feel like they wouldn't forgive a person if they did this to them. Which is why I brought that whole thing up. It's just like... Don't sit here and... invoke things when you don't... I don't know. It's like someone... Someone thinks they're too cute to be held accountable. Or responsible. Like, let's stop using the word accountability because people are just using it to basically do what others would call victim blaming, right? You know, like, you women need to learn to take accountability, or men need to take accountability. Just sounds to me like, oh, you need to choose better, or you need to do this, or you, it's still all victim blaming. How about taking responsibility? Because that then requires you to actually take part of what you've done. You know, accountability to me is just like calling my name and me going here. Expect me to, to take responsibility for something. It's something adults do. It's just like everyone learned new words and now they're just running around using it. Like, it isn't going to get diluted by us. And then all of a sudden people are going to make like catchphrases like Fretch or Damn Daniel. Something like that. I don't know. But this was the reading. I don't know what you're all going to do. But, uh, yeah. Please give thoughts and prayers to your local fuckboy, because apparently they need it. Anyway, I love your face. I'll see you later. You be safe, stay suspicious. Bye-bye.